October 13th is truly a great day for SpaceX, but it's definitely an embarrassing day for its arch-rival competitor, Blue Origin. While SpaceX was making headlines by catching the gigantic Super Heavy booster with ease, Blue Origin seems to be struggling with delays in the debut launch of second human-rated New Shepard rocket. So what's wrong with them? Despite being the same beginning, why Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have had such different trajectories. Find out everything in today's Tech Map episode. Jeff Bezos Aerospace Company hoped to launch its uncrewed NS-27 mission at 9.27 a.m. EDT on Sunday, October 13th, to send a brand new New Shepard rocket capsule combo on a brief trip to suborbital space. But a GPS system issue forced the company to call off the attempt. The delay comes six days after Blue Origin's first NS-27 launch on October 7th was called off due to a rocket issue. No new launch date has been announced, but this mission was very important. NS-27 will mark the debut of the second human-rated New Shepard vehicle, which consists of a first stage known as Booster 5 and a crew capsule named RSS Carmen Line. The Carmen Line is the 62-mile-high boundary that many people regard as the start of outer space. The vehicle features technology upgrades to improve the vehicle's performance and reusability, an updated livery, and accommodations for payloads on the booster. No people will launch aboard NS-27, but the mission will fly 12 research payloads, five of them on the booster and seven inside the capsule. This gear includes new navigation systems developed for New Shepard and Blue Origin's huge New Glenn rocket, as well as two LIDAR, light detection and ranging, sensors designed to operate in the lunar environment, according to Blue Origin. As its name suggests, NS-27 will be the 27th New Shepard mission overall. Eight of the vehicle's 26 flights to date have been crewed, sending up to six people at a time on brief trips to the final frontier. Those eight crewed flights have all used the same New Shepard vehicle, the Booster 4 RSS First Step Combo. This second human-rated spacecraft will enable expanded flight capacity to better meet growing customer demand. At this point, you might wonder, despite being the same beginning, why Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have had such different trajectories. The reasons for this bitter fact are revealed by B.O.'s founder in a last December two-hour interview about Amazon, Blue Origin, his business practices, and more with the computer scientist and podcaster Lex Fridman. During the interview, Bezos candidly acknowledged, Blue Origin needs to be much faster, and it's one of the reasons that I left my role as the CEO of Amazon uh, a couple of years ago. He added that he wanted to come in, and Blue Origin needs him right now, adding some energy, some sense of urgency. They need to move much faster. Slowness partly comes from indecision, not daring to take risks and fail. It's safe to say that B.O. gets obsessed with getting things exactly right, which is reflected clearly through the logo, which is a feather that symbolizes the perfection of flight. Although the B-4 engine has the same thrust as Starship's Raptor 2, it is still not considered as powerful as the Raptor in general. This is due to the philosophy of living in a safe zone that B.O. has pursued all the time, meaning never testing the engine in its final frontier to reduce the risk of explosion as much as possible. The information surrounding the development of the New Glenn rocket is rarely shared with the public because B.O. probably does not want to reveal its weaknesses. However, does this make sense anymore now that the world knows about their slowness? On the other hand, SpaceX is famously not afraid to fail. They also failed multiple times in their attempts to land the Falcon rocket many years ago, and the company narrowly went bankrupt in 2021. Starship's Raptor engines have been continuously pushed to the limitation in tests, leading to a series of explosions and, most seriously, the damage on OLM in April 2023 caused the seven-month holding up of Starship. Despite these obstacles, Elon Musk still upholds the spirit of never giving up. So far, Falcon 9 has broken many records in terms of total payload carried into orbit and number of booster reuses. Starship and its Raptor engine have undergone five orbital test flights and have undergone rapid improvements. SpaceX's reputation and success have also attracted large customers, such as the Pentagon, thereby winning lucrative contracts. Bezos also took the high road when talking about Musk. He said decisiveness is worth noting because it is one of the secrets to SpaceX's success. During technical meetings, Musk will make decisions and take responsibility for important issues. Once the ultimate decisions are given, the next up is just action. Honestly, there is no room for hesitation here. Well, I don't really know Elon very well. Um, you know, I know his public persona but i also know you can't know anyone by their public persona 
Um, it's impossible. I mean, you may think you do, but I guarantee you don't. So I don't really know. You know Elon way better than I do, Lex. But um, in, in terms of his judging by the results, he must be a very capable leader. Um, there's no way you could have you know Tesla and SpaceX without being a capable leader. It's impossible. To be able to share these things, frankly, is not easy. To do that, he had to taste enough bitter fruit. Jeff's high ego caused him and Amazon's board of directors to be entangled in a lawsuit by the company's own shareholders last August. The Cleveland Bakers and Teamsters Pension Fund alleged that Amazon acted in bad faith, yielding to conflicts of interest, and as a result, overpaid for its launch contracts by hundreds of millions of dollars by refusing to work with SpaceX on Project Kuiper. This fact was made painfully obvious back in April 2022, when Amazon signed satellite launch contracts with everyone who is anyone in space, except SpaceX, the world's biggest rocket launch company, and also the cheapest to launch with. This is because Jeff Bezos has beef with Elon Musk. Afterwards, under pressure, Amazon had to change its decision. Back to SpaceX news, SpaceX's Crew-8 mission on the Dragon capsule Endeavor will remain in space due to unfavorable weather conditions at their splashdown zone. SpaceX's Crew-8 mission on the Dragon capsule Endeavor was scheduled to undock from the International Space Station early Sunday, October 13th, to begin the trip home for four astronauts. However, that plan was thwarted by poor weather conditions off the coast of Florida. As NASA's updates on October 16th, mission managers continue to monitor conditions as weather is expected to remain unfavorable for several days. The next weather briefing is planned for 11 a.m. EDT on Friday, October 18th. If weather conditions improve, NASA and SpaceX will target no earlier than 3.05 a.m. Sunday, October 20. For undocking from the space station. Crew 8 consists of NASA astronauts Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, Jeanette Epps, and Alexander Grabenkin of Russia's space agency Roscosmos. The quartet launched atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on March 3rd and arrived at the ISS two days later. Crew 8 was originally supposed to undock on October 7th, but Hurricane Milton pushed things back by nearly a week. The powerful storm roiled seas in the mission's potential splashdown zone, so NASA and SpaceX waited for Milton to pass before greenlighting Crew 8's homecoming. Crew 8 is the eighth operational long-duration ISS astronaut mission that SpaceX has flown for NASA. Its successor, Crew 9, arrived at the orbiting lab on September 29th. In addition, Crew-8, NASA's $5 billion Europa Clipper mission, also slipped from its original launch date of October 10th due to the Milton hurricane. But four days later, or on October 14th, the Europa Clipper probe atop SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket lift off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, KSC, in Florida. The mission kicked off a highly anticipated astrobiology mission to the Jupiter ocean moon Europa and also marks the 11th overall for the Falcon Heavy and its second interplanetary mission. It was also the first Falcon Heavy launch to require the full expenditure of the vehicle's three first stage boosters. Normally, the first stage boosters for SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9 rockets reserve enough fuel to perform landing burns for recovery and reuse on future launches. The Europa Clipper mission is aimed at investigating Jupiter's icy moon Europa to determine if its subsurface environment could support life. Europa is believed to have a global ocean beneath its thick ice shell, and the mission will gather data on the moon's ice, ocean, and geology. These findings will help scientists better understand whether the conditions on Europa could make it a candidate for habitability. The spacecraft will now travel past Mars, using the planet's gravity to gain the velocity needed to reach Jupiter's moon Europa by 2030, and that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.